The kick to the balls is the most overrated technique in existence. I'm going to explain you why. Hi, I'm Peter Mettler. I'm a third degree beach black belt, former professional MMA fighter, based in Switzerland, got 30 years of experience and traveled the world, fought everywhere. And I was a bouncer for 10 years, what some of you might not know. So I've seen just about everything in hand-to-hand -hand combat that is to see. And what I've seen times and times again is that most cases of violent assault are done under the influence of drugs. So many people, they're like drunk or they're on even harder drugs. They're like on the powder or anything that compares to it. And they won't even feel the pain. They will not feel the pain. It's a very different situation from being in a dojo or fooling around with your friends and then hitting someone to the balls and then it's over. He's gonna lay down and cry. But now we're talking about a violent individual on drugs they will not feel pain the same way. Even from my experience, when I was fighting, I got kicked to the balls many times and it has never ever stopped me. When you see fighters crawling on the floor after a hit to the nuts, it's, mo it's most likely comparable to what those soccer players do, rolling on the floor. They just wanna tell the referee that the other guy is a bad guy and that he should get a point deduction. It's not actually stopping them from fighting at all. It's just to get a point deduction. And much more so in reality. So even if you're just very angry, you will not feel the pain. And now guess what? Many violent assaults, they will be very angry. They will not feel that pain. And as I said, as I'm gonna say it one more time, one last time, much more so when, not if, when they are on drugs. So I almost completely abandoned the idea of kicking the balls in my self-defense um, teachings altogether. Because the kick to the ball will fail you. It will fail you in the most dire of situations. You can keep it, but you always have to add something on top. You can use it as an opener, kick the balls and then start hitting, bam, 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 bam. But I've seen it a couple of times on the door. Those guys who just had some like basic self-defense training and they're gonna kick the balls and then it's not stopping the attacker. And then they're completely helpless. They're like, oh, what happened? What's happening here? It's not like in the dojo. Yeah, it's not like in the dojo, no shit, Sherlock. It's the reality here. It's reality. People are in drugs and people are full on crazy. You need to stop them physically. Like knock them out, choke them out, break a joint. Or as I said, I'm hitting the liver. I'm hitting the liver, man. It's stopping the biggest man in existence, the meanest man on the meanest drugs. He's just gonna lay down and hope he doesn't suffocate because that's what it feels like. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind and whatever you do, keep practicing because